Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Machines of War. This episode, the Hawker Hurricane, the workhorse of the RAF. The Hawker Hurricane is a British single-seat fighter aircraft designed by the Hawker Aircraft Company. The Hawker Hurricane was a wooden fighter aircraft for the RAF. It was created to meet the specifications from the government for a new generation of monoplane fighters with retractable landing gear. After several rejected attempts to develop a fighter, to the company eventually developed a monoplane aircraft with retractable landing gear, which would be powered by the latest Rolls-Royce engine. The answer is a gun. And if that don't work, use more gun. In November 1935, the prototype K5085 took off. The testing of the prototype and the new Merlin engine proved the aircraft was a great success. Save for one point, it had terrible recovery in a spin, but this was overcome by modifying the In November 1934, the Air Ministry issued specification F.5-34, which, drawing on the work of squadron leader Ralph Sawley, called for a new fighter aircraft to be armed with a total of eight guns. However, by this... Fucking Christ, I hate you. What do you want? However, by this time, work had progressed too far to immediately modify the plane planned four gun installation. By January 1935, our wooden mock up had been finished. And although a number of suggestions for detailed changes were made, the construction of the prototype was approved. And a new specification, F.36 34 was written around the sign. In July 1935, this specification was amended to include installation of eight guns. In June 1936, the hurricane was formally ordered into production. The Air Ministry, oh stop little f***ers, having placed its first order that month for 600 aircraft. On June 26, 1936, the type name HURRICANE, which had been proposed by Hawker, was approved by the Air Ministry. A key reason for the aircraft's appeal was its relatively simple construction and ease of manufacture. In comparison, the Supermarine Spitfire uh, it was significantly cheaper and involved less labor, requiring 10,300 man-hours to produce versus 15,200 for the Spitfire. As a large-scale war was coming, and time was of the essence. On October 12, 1937, the main flight took place of the first production hurricane, one, which was powered by a Merlin II engine and flown by the flight lieutenant Philip Lucas. The average hurricane was fitted with four 20 millimeter .79 inch Hispano Mark II cannons or from 2 to 8.303 or 7.7 millimeter Browning machine guns and two 250 or 500 pound bombs or 110 to 230 kilograms for you on the continent. 